Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to do a super simple one node cross process type hipster shenanigans grade in DaVinci Resolve. And this is because for some reason over the last week, I've got like a lot of comments about how you could do things with fewer nodes. So here it is, one node hipster cross process grade. Here we go. In Resolve, we've got a pretty hip shot here. And so we're going to hipify it up. So first of all, since this is relatively flat, we're going to add some contrast down here. Just, whoa, that's a little much, but right there feels about good. Then over in our curves, we are going to select our blue and bring our highlights down. And this will make yellow highlights. And then we can bring our shadows up and that'll make blue shadows. Then over to our green, we can bring our greens down just a little bit and that'll make more magenta highlights. So you see it's getting a little bit purpley, which is kind of fun if you're into that. And then we can add a little bit of green to the shadows, not quite that much, just to sort of cyan up our blues. Now we're gonna move this point in and you can see I've just moved it right to this little cross crosshair thing here so you can take a look at that. And that way we don't get too much sort of wonkiness uh affecting our midtones especially adding green we can add a little bit of magenta to our midtones that's fine but green that wouldn't be good now in our reds we're going to add a little bit of reds to the highlights and take it away from the shadows that'll keep on making our sort of full color contrasty thing happening and now you can see we're getting a pretty nice little look here so you see i didn't have to move stuff very far to move the image a whole whole lot now the next step to hippifying this is taking our luma curve. We're just going to brighten it up a little bit right about there. And then we're going to take our soft clip low and bring that up and that muddies up our shadows. And someone told me this was the wrong way to do this, but it works perfectly. So I'm going to keep on doing this. And there you go. Just that simple. A one node, you know, cool looking cross process look. If you want to add a vignette, you would actually do that before this node, that'll just be right here. And then you do this before the other node because then your shadows will still stay sort of all washed out and milky or whatever. So if you want that, that's cool. I'd probably add that, but I'm going to export this as a LUT and send it out to the Patreons as well as the project file and footage. So that leads us into the end of the tutorial. If you are a Patreon, that's awesome. If you're not, check it out. You can get all sorts of cool stuff there that isn't offered otherwise. Also, be sure to subscribe to Meester Media in the meantime, because then you'll be notified of all sorts of cool stuff. When you subscribe, you should hit the bell because otherwise you don't get notified, which is weird. So, you know, whatever, YouTube. Also, be sure to like the video because likes make people happy. And by people, I mean the YouTube algorithm. I don't really care, but the computer does. Also, check out meesnewmedia.com slash products where we have just like bunches and bunches of LUTs and power grades and uh, the lens junk pack, which I've been using all the time, especially for stuff like this to just add little extra bits of stuff and motion graph. Oh my goodness. Lens junk's so great for motion graphics. I'll probably make a whole tutorial on that soon. But I think that's about it. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesnewmedia. We have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.